Snow is deeper than Heart Racer. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Let's see how she does. How does she do? Oh, oh goodness, Heart yeah, Racer! Yeah. This way, this way, this way! Oh, it's hard to be little. <laughs> oh, it's hard to be little. <laughs> we have to get our booties, Cody. She needs him, I think. <laughs> she likes it. <laughs> it's a snowball catapult. Trebuchet. Okay. Pew. Ooh, your aim is much better than last year. <sighs> oh, yes, please. All right. What do you think, Jackers? Yeah. You snowboard next next time? No. I gotta teach you how to snowboard. You, fa you failed at it. No offense. <laughs> Actually, I'm a good snowboarder. I've been riding since 1987. I know you're a good snowboarder, but you didn't do the best on this course. <laughs> ah, well, it's not very easy in the snow pulled behind a car. It's not very easy. I fell off what three times? Yeah, I thought you did good though. So how much snow do we have? It's probably a good foot. Oh yeah, for sure. It's getting kind of icy. That plastic shovel is so good for scraping cars. This is the best snow and mulch shovel ever. It's beautiful. Except for when it gets hot, then it turns into a rubber noodle. That's right, but in medium temperatures, yeah. If it's too hot, it gets all plasticky. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go and sit by the fire. I'm not going in until you do. Well, you know how it is. A woman's work is never done. If there's an emergency, I like to get the car ready. Lucy, you were very annoying today. Oh, she's awful. Such a good dog. She's, I don't know if she's not getting exercise enough, but man, has she been troublesome lately. Here comes the snow plow. I want to go in. Go in, go in. I'm not going in without you. I'm getting all wet. Well, go in. I can, I can shovel without you. The snowblower's got headlights if you want to take it for a spin. Then you'd be out much longer. I, I'll go in then. <laughs> all right, ladies, are you ready to go inside? You got everything ready? Need more wood or we good? 
Uh, I'll have Jack bring some pirate wood in. I think, I think we need a, um, some hanging clothes. Well, we can, we can use this right here. So, love, we just had a late lunch. Do you want a dinner? I had dinner right here. Thank you, New Leaf! Yes. <laughs> Not in the mood to cook. <laughs> I hate I hate these giant cashews. I ate the whole thing already. I'm so full right now. I'm so happy. <laughs> That's you mean, the best Christmas present I've ever gotten. <laughs> you don't want to go cook a meal from scratch? I, I've cooked a lot today. <laughs> okay. Thank you, New Leaf. Our publisher sent us this big jar of nuts for for Christmas. For my happiness. <laughs> There's a common platitude out there. It goes something like, the best things in life are free. And isn't that the truth? You don't need a trip to Disney World. You just need a an old used truck and a piece of rope. Man, we had a good time today. What memories we made. I have just... It, I guess this day just epitomized, or just, it's great for me to, to do these videos, because in in the edit, I just see that, the I guess the fruit of all of our hard work, the reason why we came out, I remember, you know, it kind of brings to mind that we've been doing a lot of media interviews from the book, and the questions, the questions are very similar, something that always comes is, did you ever question your decision, or when things got really difficult and tough, did you, you think about quitting? And the question, I guess, took me took me back a bit because I, I never did. Even when things were dark, even when everything fell up from underneath of us from our first place, it never once dawned on me to quit or to give up or to quit trying for, for this dream to, to be able to live in an environment in a place like this. It never, never even crossed my mind. One of the questions I receive in the comments um, from so many of you is that um, I I, I get it. I, I want that type of lifestyle. I, I'm tired of the hectic rat race. I'm tired of living in the city. I want to get my family out. I want to I want to have have some land. How do I do it? I just don't know how to do it. And I can't give you a formula. I don't know you and I don't know what your skills and abilities are and what you would do for work and how you would do these things. But the piece of advice that I could give you is that if you resolve to do it, if you make that your mission in life if you make that your absolute goal like we did before you know it you'll find yourself here I don't know what it what it is about it but when a family comes together and really resolves to do something when you're in harness together all pulling all all walking or running in the same direction there's just nothing that can really stop you it's that single-minded focus that laser beam focus on the things that you want will get you there and if you make that decision and uh, you involve uh, um, all your family and you work together, you can do it. You can do it. And I'll tell you what, it's worth it. To have a day like today, it's worth it.